Free your spirit. Free your mind. Let your soul hear it. Your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, my name is Ava Nichols. Welcome back. Amen. We've been reading a psalm a day. Today we're going to read part two of 78. We're breaking it out into parts. Um, and this is part two today of 78. I do recommend you to read the entire book of Psalms. Psalms has been a blessing in my life, amen, and it will be the same for you. Um, David wrote a majority of Psalms, uh, David. He was a warrior, also a musician. And you need to go into Samuel, I believe it's towards the second Samuel chapter 16, and, and about the life of David. David was um, under attack uh, from Saul, and it tells you all about the story about what was going on. David, he talked to God a lot, amen, and you can do the same thing. I do, amen. We need to uh, put our total trust in the Lord at all times and know that you can be closer than a friend. We're going to start at verse 11 of chapter 78 of Psalm, and it reads, He forgot his works and his wonders that he had showed them, Marvelous things did he in the sight of the fathers, of their fathers, excuse me, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and he made the waters to, be, to stand as a heap. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud, and all the night with the light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink as out of the great depths. He brought streams also out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. And they sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted God in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Yea, they spoke against God. Yes, excuse me. They said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock, that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore the Lord heard this and was angry. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came up against Israel. Amen. This is David um, talking about the times of old. Amen. What happened? Uh, to the Israelite, and that that and we're guilty, we're guilty as well, Amen. And and um, he was talking to the Lord about all these different things that was going that had happened in the past. And we're going to elaborate on verse eleven of chapter seventy-eight. I do recommend you to read the entire book of Psalms. And it reads that he forgot his works and his wonders that he had showed them. And so what he said is about the Israelites. They forgot what God had done, the miracles he had shown them. And, and, and if you go back in, um, back in the, uh, I believe it's in, uh, I think it's in Exodus, yes, I'm sorry. In Exodus, that's when they exited out of um, uh, Egypt. You can read about that, about what happened, how the Israelites um uh, uh, forgot about God. They were always murmuring, always murmuring and complaining. And that can apply to us today. This is something that we need to not forget about the miracles that God has shown us. Amen. The miracles that he has done for you, especially when you, you're going through some more challenges. Think about what God has already done. Amen. Um, he woke you up. That's a miracle. He saved your soul. That's a miracle. 
Amen. So think about the good things that God has done for you and do not murmur or complain. Amen. Verse 12. Marvelous things that he did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt in the field of Zoan. And he's just talking about how God did miracles. I mean, God did miracles uh, for the our ancestors and they, they saw the miracles. Amen. Uh, in the field of Zoan and in Egypt. So this is something that we need to remember that God is a God still of miracles. He's the same God then. He's the same God today. Amen. Nothing is hard for God to handle. Verse 13. And it's, it's telling about what God did. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through. And he made the waters to stand as a heap. So God performed a miracle. That is another miracle. Anytime you can... Uh, that he that you can see that the waters will was stood up as a heap for the Israelites to walk through. That is a miracle to walk on dry land. And and just to part the Red Sea is a miracle. Amen. So God always remember God is a God of miracles. Whatever you believe in God for, He is a miracle working God. Amen. So rest in Him and be at peace. Amen. And don't worry or murmur or complain. Amen. Verse 14, in the daytime also he led them with the cloud, and all the night with the light of fire. So he just said how God led them um, in the daytime with the cloud, and also he, he, at night he, he led them with the fire. So that's the same thing with God. Let the Lord lead you, guide you, amen, trust in him, amen, and God will do it, amen. If he did it for them, he's the same God today, amen. So be at peace. Verse 15, he split the rocks in the wilderness. He gave them drink as out of the great depths. So that he just tell them the other miracles that God performed. And, and God, he split the rocks in the desert. He gave more enough water as if uh, as the deep ocean. That's how much water he gave them. They and, and they still complain. And that's why I tell people, don't complain, don't murmur, don't complain. Be thankful. Amen. Because if God will feed them and give them water, he'll do the same thing for you or more. Amen. Verse 16. He brought streams also out of the rock and caused waters to run down the river. So he just still going on letting you know about how he brought water out of the rock and caused waters to flow down the river. So they had plenty of water. Amen. So God is a plenteous God. God is, he has everything. He owns everything. He can perform miracles. But what we have to do is get in that place of rest and believing and having the faith as small as a mustard seed. That's all you have to have. Amen. Verse 17. And they sin yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. Yes, they did. They, even though God performed the, the Red Sea miracle, the waters, all of that, getting them out of Egypt, they still sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. Even in the wilderness, they still provoke God. They still sin and complain. Um, they continue to sin against God. Even when, when uh, Moses went to Mount Sinai, they, had, they thought God, uh, Moses had forgotten them. And then they saw Aaron and them. They started uh, making molten images of calves and all that silliness after God had done all that for them. We're guilty as well. Stop murmuring. Stop complaining. Keep your eyes on the word of God. Amen. On what God has brought you out of. If he brought you out of a miracle two years ago or yesterday, he's the same God. Amen. He has not forgotten about you. So don't give up on God. 18. And they tempt God in their heart by asking me for the lust. For their lust. So then they turn around and say, God, I need some food. You know, they, 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 they. Uh, they decided to test God again and ask him for the food they wanted. You know, letting them know we want some meat, you know. Um, and so there they go, asking God for something, you know, complaining again. They tempting God, decided to test him. Amen. And you know God, what he did, he, he gave it to them. He gave them more than enough where they it was coming out their nostrils. Verse 19, yet, yeah, yeah, they spoke against God. They said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? So there they go, questioning God. Can God do this? Yes, he can. He's God. He owns everything. He, he, he created everything. So yes, he can. So don't go ask God and say, God, can you do this for me? Don't do that. 
Thank him for what he's already done and just go to him humble. Humble yourself. Amen. And, and God, he can do anything. Amen. Verse 20. Behold, he smote the rock that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed, and he gave bread also. Oh, then they said, they, they, no, he's, I'm sorry. He overflowed the water, and, he, and then they said, can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? So there they go, asking, can he do this since he did that? Can he do this? Can he do that? So in a way, it was like a form of complaint. Amen. They wanted more, more, more. They were talking about they were hungry, want some meat. Amen. So God, he was angry with at them. And I would be too, because it was just like a forget, forgot about what God has already done for you. So that's something that we shouldn't do is not forget what God has brought you from. Don't get so high up there and don't forget where you came from. Amen. And be thankful. Amen. Verse 21, therefore the Lord heard this and was angry. So a fire was kindled against Jacob and Anger also came up against Israel. So when God heard them, amen, he was angry. He was upset, and um, his anger was like a fire uh, to the people. He was so upset to the father people of, eight, of Jacob, and also his anger even grew against the people of Israel. So you don't want that to happen. You don't want God to be angry with you. So do not murmur. Do not complain. You know, saying, I want more. I want more of this. I want more of that. Why is this happening to me? Why, why, why? You know, always wanting more. Be thankful for what God has already done for you. Not saying God won't give you the desires of your heart when you seek his face, but be thankful for what you have and work with what you have. Amen. And give God praise for saving your soul. Amen. Because you could have been out there still, uh, in going to hell. Amen. But God, Jesus, he sent his only begotten son to die for you that you can accept Christ as your personal savior. So thank God that you didn't die while you were out there in sin. Amen. So it's a blessing uh, to, to, um, to know Christ and know how good he is and not to complain and murmur. Amen. And we're all guilty of that. I'm guilty of that. And that's why it's so a blessing to ask God for forgiveness of when we have, but don't go back to it. Amen. Learn from our mistakes. I really feel in my heart that, you know, if you've done something wrong, amen, contrary to the word, let it be a learning experience and don't do it again. Amen. But God is so merciful. Even if you do it again, he'll still forgive you, but you don't want to be caught up in, uh, in a form of, of murmuring and complaining about things about, uh, to God. Amen. So, so don't forget about the works of God, his wonders that he showed, that he showed for people, that he shown you, amen, and all the marvelous things that he did in the sight of our forefathers. So things that has happened in, in the past that your parents maybe told you, amen, and how, he, how God parted the Red Sea. Think about what he parted in your life, amen. Um, he may have uh, raised you up from a, a situation, out of an abusive situation, amen. So don't forget about that. So we thank you so much for listening, amen. And if you haven't accepted Christ, first of all, you need to repent and, and let the Lord know you're sorry. And then go to Romans 10, 9 and confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Thank you. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because... In a minute, we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor A.V. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry, we'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. If you got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697 or email Ava Nichols, the number one at yahoo.com. On YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K-N-O-W-N-S-O-U-L-D-I-E-R, the number 8 on Yahoo. Also, check with PureSoul.biz. Thank you. We love you.